Good morning, guys. <clears throat> Hope everyone's doing well. Um, so I didn't have time to make a video last night. I got to camp too late. Uh, the mountain really kicked my tush yesterday. Anyway, yesterday started in Idlewild. It's about a 25, 30 minute walk up to the trailhead. 4.1 miles up to the PCT. And then uh, a couple miles over to San Jacinto Trailhead where you head for the summit. And then I think it was like a little over three miles, I don't remember, to the summit. A little over three miles back and then about a mile down the trail. So trail miles, <laughs> actual productive trail miles, I only did four, 4.01 or something like that. Uh, total, I think I did like um, somewhere between 12 and 14. But uh, yeah, getting up to the summit, that was tough. Um, I saw a friend uh, going up that I met earlier in the trail and she was going up at 7 p.m. and she was wanting to make the summit and camp. I was like, man, I do not advise that. That's, uh, you know, for me from the trailhead was three and a half hours. I said, you'll never make it before sunset and you'll be hiking in the dark. There's trail fight, you know, route finding. Um, there's so much snow. I mean, it's a real challenge. And uh, so I convinced her to, uh, you know, make camp and try it in the morning. You know, it's nice to be able to get that sunrise, sunset, you know, thing at the top of a summit, but um, it's not worth your safety. Anyway, uh, the place where I made camp is not ideal. The, uh, I ran out of sun, sunlight and really I ran out of juice, but uh, I found the first semi-flat space that would accommodate my tent. So I'm gonna flip this camera around. I'll show you the worst um, tent pitch ever. All right, everybody have a good day. Peace. Probably gonna go out about 16 miles today. All right. So it's hard to tell, but that tent is on a slope. I could not get a tight pitch because <laughs> my vestibules wouldn't stretch out far enough. None of the stakes would go into the ground because this is nothing but rock. So every stake out has a big rock on it. Um, yeah, so I slept at a pretty good angle. Well, hardly slept, but you know, I tried. Anyway, worst tent pitch yet. And I'll turn you around, show you what I'm looking at. I think down there under the clouds is LA, but I'm not real sure. There's a river about a mile back. Snow melt. Actually, I had to walk there this morning to get water. I didn't have enough this morning. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'll be out of the mountain today, back into the desert. I have appreciated my time up here. It's been challenging, beautiful, cold, snowy, a nice break from the desert. But uh, if we're going to get the desert done, then we got to get it done. All right. Peace out. Well, finally broke camp. About eight. 10 after 8, something like that. Um, I was supposed to go like 16.8 miles. I may only go 14. The tent site at 16, the notes say it's super windy. Seems to be a common occurrence. 14 point something is a little bit um, protected from the elements of wind. But uh, yeah, so... That gives me an opportunity to go slow and recover a little bit from yesterday. Ankles and feet and knees really took a beating going over all that snow and route finding and all that jazz, climbing up to the summit of San Jacinto. So, take my time, 
a lot of downhill today. So we'll see. Next water source is at about seven miles, seven and a half miles, something like that. But um, yeah, peace out. Oh, can't get it. All right. <laughs> I guess this is a type of lichen. I know that lichen works hard to destroy rock. So, anyway, I uh, think I took a picture of some the other day that was green, and this is orange. In case that's neat, and that's where I'm going. And there's a tree. <laughs> I love trees. I'd say this side still has a lot of snow. I didn't expect to be traversing snow today, but uh, hey, comes with the territory. Look at all that white stuff. Amazing. Well, let's get down this mountain safely. Uh, peace. <laughs> It's really difficult in photographs or even in video to convey how big that tree really is. And that must have been something when it went down. I'd say it's every bit of four feet across. That's intense. That looks like a cedar. That's got to be the biggest cedar I've ever seen. I-10 down there, so that's where I'm heading. I'll get close to it, but not too close tonight. Well, we have a little um, black, orange, and white ring snake here. I have to look it up. <clears throat> he doesn't seem to be very happy that I am monitoring him because he is coiling up and monitoring me. And he's wondering if he should strike or if he should just go on. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Where are you? There he is. Yeah, I don't really want to get any closer. But uh, that's cool. Haven't seen one like that. Well guys, I made it to 200 miles. That's a small milestone. Miles stone. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Only 500 more of the desert to go. Mm, let's go. <laughs> well, the far out app says that 200 was a few miles ago, but we'll take this one.
it's a marker. So if you're going northbound, you're at 200 miles. If you're going southbound, you're at 2450. And you're really, really happy. So <laughs> only 200 miles to go. And uh, that means I have 2450 to go. But hey, small steps. My next goal is 350. That puts me at halfway finished with the desert. And this canyon has been going on and on and on all day. I can't seem to get out of it. All right. I'm down the trail. Hey guys. Um, I have a couple people tinted around me, so I need to be a little quiet. But, um, so yeah, made the 200 mile mark today and I tinted or camped at 201.1. .1. Um, goal tomorrow is 20 miles, 18.9 from here, basically. Um, there's supposed to be a guy doing some trail magic. If I can get there for dinner, that'd be great. He's also doing it for, uh, so Friday night dinner, Saturday morning breakfast. So that'd be cool. I haven't experienced that on trail yet. So that'd be kind of neat. But um, yeah, pretty hard day. You know, after doing San Jacinto yesterday, using muscles that I forgot that I had, with all that snow and route finding. And then today, um, in the morning is kind of some, some climbing and then it was just downhill all day long and uh, we're still not down all the way <laughs> so i guess we're going to the desert floor and the next stop will be um this wind farm where they have all the all the fans going and i hear it's pretty windy down there so imagine if they turned the fans off it wouldn't be so windy just saying anyway that's the update for today um Good day, hard day, but ultimately, you know, it's another day on the trail. Peace out.